a day filled with sorrow at Linden Elementary School. Children learned one of their classmates, a kindergartner, was hit by a car and killed. It's just one of those communities where everybody's kind of close, where they know each other in the neighborhood, so it's going to affect everybody. Emotions are high in this community. Aside from dealing with the death of six-year-old Nolan Jones, folks here are also trying to make sense of what happened. Hamilton police say Nolan and 11-year-old Logan Watson were not in a crosswalk when they attempted to cross Pleasant Avenue and were hit by a car. A kid just got hit by a car on Lin in Lindenwall on Pleasant Avenue. Where's the vehicle that hit him? She pulled over. She is 30-year-old Elizabeth Mill. Investigators say she was driving under the influence of an unknown narcotic at the time of the crash. In plain view, a small baggie was seen with multiple pills inside of the bag. According to court documents, Mel told police she wouldn't pass a urine test because she had Percocet in her system. Mel was charged with OVI, drug abuse, and endangering children. They're still investigating the accident that's going on, but she wasn't charged with the accident part, but she was charged with OVI and child endangering and controlled substance in her car. The endangering children charge stems from Mel having two children, a 10-year-old and a 3-year-old, in the car with her. The Butler County Serious Traffic Accident Reconstruction Team is analyzing data, looking at footage of the crash, and interviewing witnesses to determine if additional charges should be filed. And a second woman, Hortensia Garcia, was also charged with tampering with evidence. Hamilton police say she's a friend of Mel's, pulled up right after the crash and then went up to Mel's car, took out a wad of cash and baggies with suspected drug residue on them and tried to hide that evidence. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.